Hi everyone, this is Lauren. I just wanted to take a few minutes here and show you all the different Pamper Chef items that I own. I've accumulated quite a few over the last couple months since becoming a consultant, and there are some really great ones, and I just wanted to be able to go through all of them with you and show you my favorites and what all of them do. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and then I'm gonna walk you through all of these different products. Here's everything that I have accumulated so far. I have lots of great products here to show you. And we're going to start up here with our rock crock. I have the Everyday Pan Rock Crock, which is 2.5 quarts. This is a glazed stone, so it's much like the, the stoneware here, but they glazed it. And it becomes non-stick, and it also makes it so that you can use it in your oven, on the stovetop, in the microwave, and on the grill. So it's very versatile. I use it for all sorts of things. I make... Um, soup and chili and I make one pan dinners and I make pasta I make an awesome risotto in the microwave and I even make cake in it so it's pretty much could be used for anything and it's quickly become my favorite go-to pan and I use it most days of the week so here's the lid for it it's very high quality I highly recommend it they also make it in a larger size a Dutch oven and an extra large Dutch oven kind of depending on your needs and they even have a insert for it to turn it into a slow cooker. So it just, if you have multiple sizes of the rock crock, you can use any of them in the slow cooker. It's awesome. I really want to get one of those. Next, I have also in the stonework collection. This is the small uh, rectangular baker. It is six by nine. And on it, I have a silicone lid that can be used either in the oven up to 400 degrees or for storage so it's good in the fridge or in the freezer. It has a little vent hole here so that you can use it in the oven and it won't burst and then if you're going to freeze it all you have to do is pop this little thing in the hole there and it'll seal it. But as you can see it's unglazed on the inside and you can tell I've used it quite a bit um, which is what makes the stoneware awesome and it builds up its own natural nonstick coating over time. But because some people didn't necessarily like how everything looked when it was just untreated, they started making some glazed ones that are glazed on the outside and they are beautiful and they come in a number of sizes. And they also have the very popular deep covered baker which has a lid and you can also use it similar to the rock crock in the microwave and in the oven, but it cannot be used on the stovetop. So then you get into just the regular stoneware that is not glazed or anything, but these are definitely my favorites. I have the large rectangular stone and the toaster oven stone because I have a toaster oven instead of regular toaster oven, which I highly recommend if you've never had a toaster oven. Um, it's great, especially when you have kids, if you're just cooking a small amount of food, if they're eating something different than you, and you just use these pans. Now you might be thinking they look dirty. They are not. This is what happens with your stoneware over time. I've had mine a couple months, so the staining on them is minimal at this point. But the darker they get, the better, because that creates a non-stick coating naturally for you. I do everything on these pans. I roast meat, I roast vegetables, I make pizza, I make bar cookies, regular cookies. I mean, the possibilities are endless. And I also have a round stone but it is very, very old. I got it when I got engaged. It is going on ugh, about 14, 15 years right now, and it's awesome, and I love it, and I still use it, but because it's not what is currently in the catalog, I won't show it to you because they just don't make the same thing, but it's still made out of the same stone. It just looks a little bit different, but it goes to show how long these last and what high quality they use. All of the clay is mined right here in the United States, um, and they're made here in the United States, so that's pretty awesome, too. All right, up here, also with the cookware, I have two of the stainless steel frying pans. So I have the eight inch and the 10 inch. These are incredibly high quality. They are wonderful. They distribute heat amazingly. I use them, you know, anything you'd use a saute pan for. Um, and I use them a lot. I also have these little, they call them microwave grip sets. If you'll notice, they line up perfectly here with the crock pot or the rock crock. Um, so you could take it out of the microwave or out of the oven with these, and I use them for other pans as well. Um, heading up here, this is our ceramic egg cooker. This is very, very, very popular. I love this thing so much. I love having eggs in the morning, so I use it a lot. You can cook one to four eggs in it, and you can add things if you want, but you don't have to. So you add your eggs and your toppings. I usually add some cheese and some vegetables, and then you can either stir it 
or you can pop the lid on a little bit better than I'm holding here and shake it and it'll mix it all together. And then you microwave it anywhere from like one to two minutes, kind of depending on how much stuff you have in there. I tend to load a ton of veggies in and it takes me more like two minutes, but you're just gonna have to play around with it and figure it out. Um, but cleanup is easy. If you've ever made eggs in the microwave using either a Tupperware or a bowl, you know that those eggs cook on there really bad and they're not easy to clean. This, I let it cool for a few minutes. I put some water in it till I'm ready to deal with it. And I mean, that egg just wipes right out of there. You can also use these to make muffins and brownies, little cakes. I have a PDF file with lots of recipes. So anyone that buys these, I will definitely share it with you. All right, in the background, you'll see we just have some um, cutting boards. They're the flexible ones and they have a non-stick back that comes in this three pack and there's also a smaller set as well. Um, they're great, they clean up easy, and they have lots of useful tips on them as well. Right here is our Quickster pitcher. This is the smaller one, it also comes in a one gallon size. So you can make anything in here, juice, tea, Kool-Aid, um, infuse water, you know, and then you can stir it like that. And it's great. I make iced tea in a lot and we also sometimes just fill it with water and add some lemons or any fruit that we'd like. All right, moving on, we have our silicone prep bowl set. It comes in a set of three and each one has a lid. I'm just going to pull the little one out here and kind of uh, show you what it can do. You'll see that it's very flexible. This makes it great for melting chocolate, ma melting caramel, all sorts of things like that. And then it can pour really, really easy onto whatever it is you're doing. Um, it also has measurements on the sides so they can be used as regular measuring cups as well. They're very versatile and very nice. This is our measuring bowl set. There are three of them nestled in here. They're made out of glass. They're very high quality. Obviously just a workhorse. So you, everyone needs measuring bowls, or not measuring bowls, but mixing bowls. We use them for everything, baking, cooking, mixing, dredging, all sorts of things. This is our silicone basting brush. As you see, it has a little hook there. So you can hook it on your bowl or whatever it is you're using. Those work great. Right here, we have our microplane coarse cheese grater. I love this. You can use it like this as a stand. So you hold it with one hand and you load your cheese in there. Right there, it has little prongs to hold onto the cheese. So then you can grate the cheese like that. But sometimes you don't need to necessarily do that much. So you press the button and you can use it like this, just like a regular hand grater. It's awesome. And then it folds up for easy storage as well. And then it has a protective cover that goes over the top so that you won't accidentally catch your fingers on it when it's in the drawer. Or if you have little kids that get curious. So I love that cheese grater. I do grate my own cheese more often than not. It doesn't have, you know, either potato or cornstarch coating it like sh pre-shredded cheese does. So it works out great. We have the mini measure all cup. I actually prefer this one to the regular measure all cup. This one holds one cup. I just find I use it more often than the larger one, but there is a regular measure all cup too. So if you use a lot, make a lot of recipes with peanut butter and things like that, then you might want the larger one, but I'm just trying to do this with one hand. So you'd open it all the way or whatever measurement you need, and you can fill it with soft items, um, peanut butter, honey, sour cream, anything like that. And then you just, you know, push it. It's really hard to do this with one hand. You kind of need to, but you push it it goes pretty easy if you're holding it with one hand and not the other, and it all comes out, and then you don't have a container that is just covered with all of your ingredients. Um, our nestled measuring spoons, they all connect together, pretty handy. Oh, this is our very, very popular garlic press. I love this garlic press so much. I've never had one that worked this great. So you pop the garlic in there. You don't even have to peel it. I should have grabbed a thing of garlic to show you. And you squeeze it, comes up pretty easy. And then it has this little uh, cleaner down here. Kind of looks like one of those uh, little Barbie hairbrushes from when we were all kids. So you can use this end to scrape the excess garlic off. And then this end has holes. And it pokes right into those holes to push all of that garlic out. So it cleans up really easy. It can go in the dishwasher. Most of these items can. And it just cleans really easy. Uh, right here. It's a very simple tool, but a great starter tool. It's our veggie strip maker, so you can make like zucchini noodles and great carrots and all sorts of stuff on it, especially for someone that maybe isn't sure if they like that kind of thing, but they're wanting to experiment with it. It's a very inexpensive gadget and it works great. 
So it's a good starter, and then if you do really like it, then you can go ahead and upgrade to the Veggie Spiralizer or something like that. Um, next, I have the Manual Food Processor. This has quickly become probably my favorite or second favorite thing in the kitchen. Um, I got it in my kit, and I never thought I'd really use it that much, maybe a handful of times, and it turns out I use it pretty much every day. So as you can see, it has a nice little lid. It's uh, a bowl. There's no hole in the middle like a typical food processor, and you put this blade in there. And then you can put chunks of onion, carrots, whatever, and chop them up. So if you're making soup or chili or any other recipe that needs chopped up vegetables, you put them in there, pop on the lid, and you just pump the handle. It's really easy. And I also have a four-year-old son, and he loves this thing so much. He calls it his. It's his little race car, and he makes little race car noises with it. I also use it to make things like guacamole and salsa and hummus. It is just awesome. I mean, it's so versatile and I use it all the time and it make, cuts down on cutting a lot, especially when you need to cut a lot of vegetables, but maybe not so many that you'd want to get your whole big food processor out. Uh, let's see, we have our can opener. Love this can opener. Very different than the ones with two handles. It magnetizes onto the can um, and then it has a little it makes it so that the edges of the can are not rough or sharp so you can't cut yourself on them another one of my favorite tools here this is the salad chopper so I'll pop that open so as you can see it has two blades and you hold it I probably should have set the camera up instead of doing this this way uh, so you chop it like that yep you hold it like that not like normal scissors and you put all your ingredients into the large mixing bowl there and you just chop, 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 chop. You put everything in there at once, your cucumber, tomato, lettuce, carrots, anything that you want, and it just chops right up. But it's not just for that. You can also shred cooked chicken breasts or pork. So you can make pulled pork or anything like that and you can do it in like 30 seconds. It's amazing. It is definitely one of the best tools. All right, our simple slicer has a protective cover has three different settings here so you get your blade going on there and it's very like it says this is simple slicers so you can slice onions and peppers and tomatoes all sorts of things you load them in here again with the little prongs and you just slide it it slide it actually connects on there but I can't do it with one hand and you just slide back and forth um, and also potatoes too so if you want to make chips we actually do have a microwave chip maker set so you could do potatoes or apples and make your own healthy chips in the microwave it's awesome another thing I need to try sometime all right lastly I have all our little gadgets here so I have this little mini serving spatula which is surprisingly one of my favorite things it's so simple but it's so like heavy duty so it's really good with you know getting things off of there easily I love it I have a whole bunch of knives I probably should have taken them out of their protective covers before I started filming so this is the five inch Santoku knife this is probably my favorite knife it's very high quality it's made out of forged German steel it has a full tang so it means the metal goes all the way down it's one solid piece of metal with just this little handle for comfort on there it's just very 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 high quality and it works wonderfully I loved it so much it came in my kit that I went and I bought the paring knife because I find I use Santoku knives and paring knives more than any other knife they're kind of my go-to's um, so I love my little paring knife it's great for cutting fruit and all sorts of stuff I wanted to try out the the uh, coated knife series it, none of them came in my kit and I wanted to try them they're less expensive, but they're still very high quality. These are made out of Japanese stainless steel. So I bought also the five inch Santoku knife more because I wanted to compare. And you know what? I love it too, but for very different reasons. This one's very thin. It also has a full tang the whole way through, but it's very thin and I find it's very good for slicing things very, very small or very thin. Um, so it works great for that. And I tend to grab it a lot. Surprisingly, I just got the utility knife. I'm not sure even why, because I'd never had a utility knife. And I think it's probably, somehow, out of all these knives, my favorite. Ah, if that would come off. <laughs> That's good that it probably is hard to get off. Um, so this is just the utility knife that comes in the uh, coated knife series, again with the full tang. 
And I don't know, I just find it's very versatile. I use it a lot, especially when I'm using the manual food processor because I'll use this just to kind of hunk up an onion because you don't want to put a whole onion in there. Um, so it works really good for that. And then the little paring knife, again, because I love my paring knife. This one, again, is very, very thin and it's very sharp. It is hands down the sharpest knife of all of these. I mean, look at that point on there. So I'm very glad they come with protective covers because my kids tend to just reach into drawers. So I'm happy that they're covered. So I use that one a lot too. I love all these knives. I think I picked kind of the best there. This is our pizza cutter with a crust cutter. So especially for someone like me that makes pizza in the large rectangular stone here, you know, you're cutting your slice of pizza, you're not gonna be able to cut it in the corner. So then you take this and you pop the crust right there. So it's, it's awesome. I love this pizza cutter. It's big, it's durable, it's heavy duty, and it works great. We make a lot of homemade pizza in our house. I actually want to get one of those little kids pizza making sets because my kids love to make pizza so much and they like pizza different than me and my husband do. So I'm thinking about getting each one of them one of those little sets so they have their own pan to do kind of whatever they want with. So all right here is the mix and scraper. It's one of our uh, spatulas. We have a lot of different sizes of these, a lot of shapes. They're all great. Somehow this is the only one I have so far. I'm not even sure how that happened but I have it and I love it so I will have to get more. And then the famous mix and chop. This is the mix and chop for May, which is the Help with Cancer fundraiser month. So a, every one of these sold, uh, they donate a dollar to the American Cancer Society, which is awesome. The rest of the year, you can buy this in black. And you can buy it in black in May as well, so you don't necessarily have to buy this one if it's not what you want. I, for years, looked at this at my mother-in-law's house and had no idea <laughs> what you did with this thing. I didn't get it. I don't know. I didn't know if she used it when she made pie which actually some people do to make marks. You actually use it to break up ground beef and turkey and things like that. So you spin it, you know, do motions like that in your pan and it just breaks it up awesomely. It works so good that, I mean, I can't believe I even lived without it before. And you can also use it to make guacamole, egg salad, hummus, chunkier things like that. And then again, like I said, in the pie, you can make a pretty little decorative air vent holes in the top of your crust. There's lots of different things to use this for, but it's just wonderful. So I think I covered everything that I have here. Um, there's so much more in the catalog. There's just so many, many, many items. And so far, everything I have received has just been very high quality, and I've been very happy with it, which is why I continue to sell Pampered Chef. I wouldn't sell it if I didn't use it myself and didn't love it. So if you have any questions about anything I showed you, it looks like a mess now. It was so neat in the beginning. Um, but just go ahead and ask me if you have any questions and if you have questions about anything else that isn't in the catalog I will do everything I can to get you your answer. So just let me know. Okay. Have a great night. Thanks. Bye